So I was originally born in Cuba, but I was raised in Hialeah, which is like South Florida, Miami area. Engineering I knew for sure, because along high school I was thinking about it a lot until I was like, yep, doing this. Computers was after the first week when they did like the whole introduction thing. Then they separated us into groups like computer science and then all the engineers. And I realized the engineers had it harder uh, than the computer scientists, uh, just because of the course load. What really made me pick computers was the fact that one, it's not all just machines, two, it's not all just electrical, It's and it involves software, which is part of the computer science. So it had a little bit of everything which I wanted to get into. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I used to do summer reading volunteering programs back home at like my one of my local libraries. Um, doing everything from like signing people up to the program to puppet shows and my supervisor for that she was in a um, graduate from University of Denver and she had a lot of great things to say about it. From high school I knew I was interested in going into engineering and so I remember University of Denver actually seeking me out after the college testing and placement exams and so I was really excited about the idea of coming out to Colorado and to a school that was putting a lot of emphasis in STEM. DU at the time hadn't had this amazing building and this new engineering program. In computer engineering, we not only look at the software, but we look at hardware as well. So you learn programming. At the same time, you see how that program is going to interact when you connect that into hardware. It is not something that you can learn in computer science. Uh, so a lot of computer engineers here, they get a minor in computer science, but the other way is usually not happening. I usually say to people who don't really know anything about computer science or computer engineering, I'm like the computer engineer, you could think of them as someone who's capable of building a, like a computer, and the computer scientist is the one that makes the Microsoft Word or like the software. In early years, it's good if we give a little bit more emphasis on hands-on so we can motivate the students but still the, the theoretical part, it's still there. As we keep moving in the curriculum, uh, the theoretical component should be more heavy. Uh, and students should be able to start by themselves um, doing the hands-on instead of being in lab. So junior year, you start building your little robots to do whatever they need to do. Uh, they just have to follow like these yellow arrows. So they were doing it all the same way through um, color detection. And as the only computer engineer full of a team of mechanicals, I didn't do a lot of mechanical work, but I did do all the electrical and the computer work. And I was by myself in it. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do something different. I did line detection instead. The arrows are always gonna be the same shape. So did that, worked out. My teachers are pretty proud of me, but I like the fact that I can be pretty creative in that field. In the project-based learning classes that we have, we put teams of students together from electrical engineering, computer engineering, and mechanical engineering. So we tap into that potential, and we make sure that we are mimicking what is going to happen, what is happening right now in industry. Um, I got invited to the Aero Diversity Day. It's an event geared towards um, students also underrepresented communities because Aero was looking into like diversifying their workforce. That event was so much fun because we got to meet with uh, company representatives. We had a really nice salmon dinner. <laughs> and so um, it was a really good exposure to the uh, company and the internship opportunities they had. I was in the engineering one, but it was really fun um, getting to work in the engineering department. And then the internship also causes you to work with other departments. So I was meeting all types of different students and we were assigned to build a drone. And so I was so stunned and I was excited at the same time about building a drone because I was a sophomore at the time and I had never done anything like that. And so it was really cool going through that journey and um, in the end having a product, I would say even having that internship prepared me a little bit for some of the classes I had to have in junior year, which is pretty interesting. You think class is supposed to prepare you for the internship, but it was kind of like the other way around. Seniors do a wide variety of things. Like, for example, I'm right now doing a system that's allowing a blind person to run a 400 meter track. It's like three parts. Uh, one is the IoT, the other one's the application on the phone, and then the third one is a system that's on the actual 400 meter track. So there are beacons placed along the track, and there's one beacon on the actual user. So they put on the vest, they take out their iPhone, start the application, and then they start running. And as they're running, depending on how they're moving along in the lane, if they're getting 
too far off out of one specific lane, it'll start buzzing them. Um, so it tells you where you are on the track. And it does cover the whole track, and since the tracks are all like set distances for each individual uh, lane, you can actually tell the app, I want to go to lane one, and then run along lane one. Um, and I think that's, that's definitely one of the best things about this program, the fact that at the end of the year you get to do a nice project. And things like that are actually pretty interesting. It's like, oh, you're in the school and you're doing this cool stuff. Um, it actually looks good on a resume. Um, it's a good experience. It's actually really fun to do. I think it's really important when you're picking a degree program to really like see yourself not just doing the academic work, but even after you get out of college, like making sure it's something you really enjoy and really want to do. So it's pretty much if they like what they're doing, even if they fail, even if things don't work, at the end of the day, it's like, do you like it? Can you leave it for a week or two and then you come back and you can find that energy and motivation? If yes, then it's the way to go. That's the really fun part of engineering. You work on projects and you figure things out and it's like problem solving. If you really like problem solving, this is the major. This is the right place to be.